You guys like my little black girl doggy paddle? <laughs> Can't get the locks wet. <laughs> Come with me to Mexico City and Puerto Vallarta for a wedding and beach holiday. The flight from London to Mexico City is 12 hours, so once Bay and I got the invitation for the wedding, we knew there was no way we'd stay just the weekend. I'm working on making business class travel a more regular thing for me, especially for long haul flights. If you guys want a video about how I fly business using points and what my experience with British Airways business class is like, let me know in the comments below and we can make that happen. Okay, we stay icy on this flight. I know, that's right. The festivities kicked off with a welcome party, complete with a traditional Chinese lion dance and tea ceremony. There's me nearly getting run over by the lion, but you know, who doesn't love an immersive experience? <laughs> Even though Friday wasn't the actual wedding, the dance floor was lit. I spotted the paparazzo, so you know I started doing the most. Ooh, now she's getting a little loud. And a little bossy. Somebody take that lady's wine glass. <laughs> no, kidding. I was just excited to be with my friends because living abroad means I don't get these moments as often. The wedding itself was exquisite, exquisite. The venue, stunning. It was an old convent in the heart of Mexico City and I was just in my happy place to be surrounded by all my college friends, feeling loved up with my own boo and celebrating the bride and groom who I love so very much. The first restaurant we went to after landing ended up being our favorite, and we ate there like every other day. Ain't shit else but the meat in these tacos, but you know what, baby? That is enough because it is delicious. Delicious with a capital D. 
After a billion hours of travel, jet lag, and very little sleep, the tequila was really hitting the spot. No shame. We work hard out here, and we all deserve rest and rejuvenation. Actually, the bathroom over here is just fully open. Um, but you know, that's cool. We try to have a nice, wonderful, bougie life, and sometimes that bougie life means we gonna have some open bathrooms with no doors. Oh my God, this guy is just like may or may may or may not. Oh, actually, there's no door, so um, there's a little bit of separation here. The toilets here on this side, and then you have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful waterfall shower okay so we are dressed and ready to go by the pool let me turn on the light see if i can show you my little get together get my little get down listen y'all you see when they use all kinds of fancy technology and you don't know what to do okay okay the lights worked okay let's fix this a bit um i don't know if you can see me because I, I can't really see myself in this, but just a little simple top that I really love is from God Saves Queens. Ain't nothing too special, just a little. I'm a little, you know, I don't know. New York, London Bay, on vacation in Mexico. Let's go. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. So I was like, oh, what's this little thing here? It's a cabinet? No, y'all, it's if you like trying to not have the television in the bedroom, but have the television over here in the living room to do some Oh, shit. Well, to not do that. <laughs> okay, uh, for some reason it's not, oh. Okay, I guess it's not supposed to turn all the way around because there's that thing there blocking it, but yeah, you know? Okay, well, you don't need the TV facing that way over there. That would be stupid, right? Because it's a cabinet. So you want the TV to be angled anyways to come to the couch. But I thought this was like a little nice touch. Honestly, I think this little studio is so cute. In a lot of ways, like something like this, like this little, Beach property is something that Bay and I are aspiring to. So we are on the hunt for something similar in Europe, and I think we're very close to finding it. So I will definitely keep you guys posted on that journey. But yeah, ain't no full length mirror in this beach. Let me turn this light off. Over here in the bathroom. This is what I'm saying y'all about the technology. Got all kinds of weird buttons, I don't know what to do. So, okay, it's the same button. But can't y'all just do things simple so we can enjoy holiday and not be confused? Okay, so I was gonna give y'all a tour of the roof, the pool, the relaxation area, cause it's actually fabulous, but it was quite busy and, you know, people just trying to enjoy themselves, relax, lay out, be naked or half naked without having a camera in their face. So, promise I'll give a full tour at the end of this video. Hi, honey. Doggy paddle. <laughs> Can't get the locks wet. <laughs>
This was probably my favorite night in Puerto Vallarta. Coming here wasn't even on our itinerary. To be honest, not much was on our itinerary, but every night from our Booking.com rental, I could hear mariachi music from across the valley, and that made me really want to go to one of the restaurants that had live musicians. And I'm so glad we came. The whole vibe was just so romantic. I think mariachi music is like the most romantic music of all, and that mixed with the luxury and glamour of Elizabeth Taylor's house, it was marvelous. I would definitely do it again. Food was good too. So, I got a self-tape to do, and trust me, I am certainly not complaining to be in an absolutely beautiful space in Puerto Vallarta with amazing views, amazing sunlight, and everything else to do this tape. Um, our flat, our apartment that we're staying in, the Booking.com rental, is fabulous, and they have, there's this big sliding door that I can use to create a plain background, but of course, next door to us, the construction workers are living their best life with all their mariachi music, and like, it's a Saturday, I'm not about to be out here and tell them to kill their vibe, especially when I was dancing on the balcony to their music yesterday. But the best thing that I could find was upstairs on the roof, there's like a media room, and I have just set myself up with a little makeshift uh, stand because I left my stand in London. I was trying to travel light and I like should have brought these things, but you know, we had like weight limits and stuff. So I got a bar stool with a trash can on top of it. About to prop up a few books here. And then the camera is gonna be plopped right here. So we have this kind of view for our self tape. And this was the plainest background I could find in this little corner here in this fabulous media room. Honestly, it's like just outside is our hammocks and a fire pit and just amazingness, but all good. This is what I want to do with my life. It makes me happy to even call like having to do a self tape work is almost like laughable because I enjoy doing them. But you know what? Like when you have a plan, when you have a dream, I don't want to say the hustle doesn't stop because it kind of doesn't, but it's also important for mental health, emotional well-being that it does stop a little bit. So I have worked on getting the lines down. I also have been doing some work since I've arrived, like promoting my YouTube channel. If y'all haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe. What you waiting for? Right here or here or here. I haven't figured this stuff out yet, but like hit the subscribe somewhere on my screen. Um, and yeah, did a little bit of that learned these lines, taping it now, and then I'm telling myself, once this tape is done, that's when the work is gonna be done, and your girl is going to be fully on holiday, 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 hey, hey. Okay, so that was a lie, because when I watched the tapes later, I was like, nah, we need to do a little bit more to make sure we get this job. What are we doing here? I am sending my new take for my self-tape to my agent because I was a bit dissatisfied with one of the scenes I did yesterday and I knew I could do better so we got up this morning and we did better it's quite a place to do the self-tape it is can you believe it can you imagine if I just use this background that'd be amazing but I guess uh, this show is not going to be set in Mexico, so... Exciting. Mm -hmm.